Alrighty, friends. For the first one, go ahead and type tour, T O U R. And then we will get our booties moving here. I also remembered that Kui exists, so then I have more Kui. This one's like their mango one. I'm very excited. Yay! But thank you guys so much for doing my shell. We're going to have literally the best time. Um, I'm not on TikTok Live right now because it kept disconnecting me like every two seconds. Also, thank you, Jen. Jen, did you do a tour or did you have one? Do you want me to put you on the wheel? Or a shell to do? Mm -hmm. And salvage it. Oh, that sucks. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. Let me also uh, change my thing. Shell tour day one. There we go. The shell life got in the way. No worries. No worries. Just wanted to make sure. I hope things are going good, though, for you. Yep, I changed my stream title. The theme for next shall be Tammy's Dream House. Oh my God. Imagine. Imagine if our Tammy's Dream House. Okay. Here we are. Ember the Eldritch. Ember, what's your gallery ID? Yes. Oh my God. They're just like regular pretzels. And then there's like an Utz brand like pretzel dip and it's honey mustard. Ember, what's your gallery ID? Magic. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> Gosh darn it, magic. Ember builds. Perfect. It's definitely not thre threatening at all. No. Um, magic made us lose the game. You're welcome. I also just made everyone else lose. <laughs> also, why is this? I hate that. It's like people use like an EA logo. Hmm, that's sus. That is very sus. I don't like that. I don't like people. Why are people like that? I don't do that. Anyway, Sapphire Shores in Solani. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is so cute. I like the, 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 the roofing that you did. Getaway Paradise for a change. Forget the wintertime blues. This is a getaway um, for the shell challenge. Oh my God. So you said, um, the story behind this build is someone took an old shipping container and built an open concept vacation home. They're not, they're letting my Sims test her and test her McTesty pants. I love their name. Um, <laughs> borrow it to get married and they're just cluttering up the place. I love it. So Sapphire Shores, you said? I know it's, it literally is like having your username like that. That's so weird. We're starting off like as vacation as we possibly can with this. Sapphire Shores. Okay. I'm so glad I got myself pretzel dip, y'all. Also, oh my God. If you guys are new here, by the way, my name is Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Hi, we're doing shell tours. Next shell, no worries. Um, I'll either make it tonight or tomorrow night. So like, it'll be due. I'm thinking it'll probably be due like the 6th and the 7th. I'll make sure I don't have any scheduling conflicts this time though. <laughs> Because I did that. That's why we push it back week because I forgot about throwback week when I did it. Mm, the fish tank, that's so cool. I don't Discord for sure. Hey, Cody, good to see you, by the way. Throwback week was literally so freaking good. I can't even get over it. Like, I loved it. Oh my God. The entryway, the way that you did like the rounded rooms on this with like the rounded decks and stuff that kind of go up. <gasps> oh my God. We got like a little, um, like a little wedding area. This is so pretty. Stop it. I know the stairs are very cool. I love like the back area. 
with like a big um like a rounded couch and stuff mm. this is very fancy i love the lounging areas a hot tub and a bar i love the roofing too like you really managed to like actually do this hi nerd did you happen to do the shell deary so i can add you to the wheel welcome i hope you're doing good <gasps> i love the little sitting area here this is so cool uh, i like the door that you put in there too that actually looks really good like it matches really well i like the little rounded areas and how you made those into like oh my god and like the little oh my god that's so cool so this would actually be like a fully functioning like fish tank <gasps> we're having lunch nice gonna do tomorrow nice okay yep yeah, we can do you tomorrow for sure I can totally add you then. Hmm. This going all the way around that. I love the blue and like the orangey tones and stuff. Right, that's true. That's true, Ember. <laughs> you did really ag us on, didn't you? I love it though. I love that. I know that's so cool. Like what a good feature. I'm obsessed with that a little closet i know i want to go here i like how they have like the grilling stuff out here too a little computer area i like all the the paintings that you use too go upstairs oh my god this is so pretty it's like a big lounge area your favorite color of the blue green right it's so pretty isn't it renly I love the fireplace up on like a platform. <clears throat> That's really, really awesome. And then uh, you've got like a little dresser area and then like the bedroom. That is so cool. And like a door that goes out into the deck. God, this really does feel like a really cute like Airbnb kind of place. I love the, I love, love, love how you handled this though. How you made like the fireplace in like the bathroom too and how it butts up against it but then it goes down and then it's just like a fish tank kind of thing give your house backstory i love it it's so good it looks really really good can we get some hypes and hearts in chat thank you so stinking much for doing this i love that that looks so good it really does thank you so much for doing the shell ember Mhm. Mm I'm so glad that you had fun. Oh my God, I love it. Thank you, thank you. So guys, um, Twitch is gonna play ads in about 20 seconds. I'm gonna sit here and like shove these pretzels into my mouth as we're on break. <laughs> They're really good with the mustard. Anyway, I'm gonna let these ads play. Thank you for supporting. They are a free way to support, to support me and our lovely community. And I'll see you guys in just a sec. So thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> I know that was a really great way to start shell tours. I'm not mad about it. So good. I'm also glad that we finally have Tammy up on the gallery too. Hi, basic. Welcome on in. How are you today? I think tomorrow night for dinner, I'm going to make Sloppy Joes. I think Chi, Chi was talking about Sloppy Joes and how she made those like about a week ago. And I was like, oh yeah, Sloppy Joes exist. And so I'm going to make Sloppy Joes because I remember they exist. I have like everything. I have everything in the house for it all the time because I use Western dressing, ketchup, mustard, and brown sugar. And like onions, like... And then ground turkey. Hi, Molly. Oh, need a friendly distraction while I work. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I love when people lurk and hang out here. I love that so much. My name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Good to have you. We're doing shell tours today and Thursday. And then on Friday, I think we're playing Jelly Bean Legacy, which is a legacy challenge. Oh my God, Lily, welcome. I'm so glad to meet you. How are you? We're in an ad break right now, so we're just chilling and hanging, but welcome for shell tours. We do shell challenges once a month. We tour two days. Today is day one of two and also my first day back in like four days because I didn't have internet on Monday or Tuesday. 
which was fun. Mm, I have fiber. It's so good, Nard. Do you love it? Oh my God. I'm so glad that you love it. I've been having so much fun with it. <gasps> That's completely clean and moved around. I love that. She is such a good like streamer to have on. I love Chi. One of my besties too. Mm -hmm. Multi-level decks. I always try to fence off the decks because that Sims wander in your house and make themselves at home. They really do. They're like, here. She is mad best. <laughs> I'm telling her. She'd laugh at you though. Because you'd tell that to her face. <laughs> she screams like I do, right? Like, what? <laughs> mm. I am very, very fortunate for the friendships I've made over the last few years. Like, I am so grateful. I love them so much. She and Kaz and Miss Teeny Fart and Lady. Little bill oh, back with ginger tea and goldfish. That sounds so good. I'm literally like, I straight up want to shove all of this into my mouth at the same time. I ended up getting like a pretzel dip. It's just a honey mustard, like a pretzel dip. It's like in a jar. And then I have pretzels. And then it's so good. And I just want to shove it into my holes. Hole. <laughs> into my mouth. Lily, I didn't either. Like. There's usually like a cheese spread that I've used before. Um, but it's like in the refrigerator. I'm from Wisconsin and like the Midwest and stuff. So it's kind of like a almost like a port wine cheese. And you can do that. But then like honey mustards and stuff, beer cheese. That's really good. But yeah, this is straight up like it's it's by Utz, which is a pretzel brand or like a chip brand. It's a pretzel dip. It's delicious. I love, I've been I'm in my pretzel era. I just bought it at Walmart, Sim. I was like, oh, my God. Or Matteo. I don't know why I know you're Matteo. I don't know why I called you Sam. <laughs> but like, I was rolling when I saw you in Momo's chat. What did I say to Momo? I'm in there like all the time though. When I'm not streaming, I'm hanging out with Momo. Hi, Kristen. How are you, lovey? Good to see you. All right, babies. Oh, about Baldur's Gate 3? Oh my God. <laughs> We, we came in in a very good time, let me just tell you. We did. All right, friends. So we're going to roll. These are the tier two and tier three subscribers. If you did our shell challenge and have a tier two or tier three sub, your name can go on this wheel. Cooking pasta. That sounds so good. What are you doing with the pasta? Sue! Side by Sue, what is your gallery ID? I will pull you up on there. Thank you so much for your um, elevated level of support with your subby. I really appreciate you. So we go back and forth between um, non-subs, tier one subs, and then tier two, tier three sub get like a special pool. <gasps> Ooh, tortellino, some kind of butter sauce. That sounds really good. You could do like a Parmesan. Ooh, like a Parmesan lemon, like pepper sauce. That'd be so good with butter. I know, Lily, I love shell tours, too. We do a shell challenge, like, at least once a month. I don't know if you heard me say that earlier, but, like, at least once a month. I freaking love it. Um, it's so fun. This one was, like, a vacation getaway theme. <gasps> is this it? I don't know what it is. Oh, wait, no, it's this one. But either way, that other one was so pretty. What is the shell challenge? Basically, I'll show you what it looked like. Um, it looked like this. With like the little rounded pieces. And basically I build the walls just like this. And then you guys make it into something. But the trick is you can draw like floor plants. You can like draw a bathroom and you can like draw whatever on the inside, like add decks and balconies and all the fun stuff. You can roof it. You can add, you can add like windows and then, but you can't touch anything that I put down previously. So like it has to exist as is, but you just make it in like, it's your lump of clay. Like, what do you see? 
it's your hunk of marble. You know, what are you going to carve it into kind of thing um, is the way to describe it. And like, I usually do mine with a theme. So like I did like a vacation getaway theme this time because like I thought February, you know, like we're all most of us, at least in the northern hemisphere are like snowy. It's kind of miserable. Winter blues, Valentine's Day, you know, that kind of thing. So we decided to do this. So exciting. So, oh, my God. And Granite Falls. Shut up. This is so cool. Right. They give me so much inspiration. Make sure you guys like take screenshots of things, too, like things that you like. And like jot down usernames, heck yeah. Um, a perfect house to rent for the family. This can uh, sleep up to six people. It's full of acti plenty of activities from fishing, camping, or hiking in the woods. Um, in the evening, plenty of games for the whole family come and enjoy Granite Falls. This is so exciting. I'm gonna start commenting. I always forget to comment. Like I, I literally have it because <gasps> of the roof. I bet with that rounded piece, you guys are so brave. <laughs> Hi, Mama Bird. Welcome back. How are you doing today? I'm so glad to see you. Granite Falls is like low key, high key, one of my favorites. Um, what lot did this go on? Was it go on one of these? I know, but Granite Falls is like legitimately probably one of my favorite worlds. Um, it's so pretty. Which is kind of funny because I think it was literally, I think Outdoor Treat was literally the first pack we got for The Sims. Like, ever. Um, doesn't matter. Okay. <clears throat> I'll put you there because I clicked on it. <laughs> I think, I don't know, Outdoor Treat. What are some things, like, if they did a refresh with, like, Outdoor Treat, what would you, what would, what would you do? Mm-hmm. You can make rentals in this world, yes. Um, they came out like Get to Work was the first expansion pack, but the first pack to come out was Outdoor Treat. I actually did research on this. Give me a sec. Um, the very first pack, Outdoor Treat, came out February 13th, 2015, and then Get to Work came out in March 2015. This is my pack list that I'm working down for my reviews. Fun fact. So Outdoor Treat is going to be the last pack that I review. Luxury Party, May. June was Perfect Patio. Spa Day was July, August, September. We were like eating good the first year. Like basically Sims 3 or The Sims 4. Like dang. That was fun. But anyway, I did my research. Oh, inside tents. That would be so cool if we could see inside tents. Now I want to get outdoor tree. It's so pretty. Um, some of the build by stuff is kind of OK. It's dated by now, but the world is like phenomenal. Aww. I'm excited. Eventually I'll do like a I kind of want to do a like a gameplay review, but I'm starting with build by stuff first because that's more my niche. Camping stuff. Ooh, the bed with the curvy wood. Yeah, that's true. That is true. The camping stuff is amazing. But yeah, just kind of peek at like the world. It's just perfect. Like. <clears throat> it's it's so pretty. But this is so cool. Oh, my God. I love what you do with like the entryway on this. I know it's gorgeous. How do you build in this world? Um, so when you go into the world, like where you pick your maps, it's the upper left hand corner. Then there's like a little star button, which are destination worlds, which are worlds you cannot live in. And there's Batu, Salva Dorada, and then there is Granite Falls. I know I wish it had residential lots as well. Ooh, look at the pond. That is so pretty. Kuiper, what do you need? Hey, me? Hyper. You want some lap time? I know it's so cool. So, so, so cute. I love the big like deck that you've added all the way around here. This is so pretty. Upgrade the remodel in the hermit's house, which they uh, whether they want me to or not. Right. <laughs> no, for sure. Ro, I feel that. This is so good. I love what you did with like the big tree around the deck. I feel like that's so realistic. 
Ulta, rentals everywhere. Yeah, I feel like they're kind of worthless too. I wish they would do like an overhaul or update where you could live there because I feel like they're genuinely like useless now because of that reason. I'm with you. But I love what you do with like the siding and like, oh my God, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can get him. He wants to sit in my lap. Come here. He's pulling the blanket off me because he wants to. Come here. <clears throat> Hold on. He's going to sit here and keep pulling my blanket off of me. Come here. Come here, baby. I'm going to leave him alone for a second. I'm going to stop paying attention to him because he's just standing there looking at me because he's a cat. Um, And then he'll come closer inevitably like he always does. And then I can pick him up. The roof to line up with the round parts. Uh, I think it's actually stretched over it. <clears throat> Give me a sec. It's my smuggle butt. <laughs> Kimber. Hey, baby. It's okay. No, you can stay here. Uh, oh, trim. Yeah, like, um, it's like... It's hanging off a little bit. Start with the roof. I know, right? You usually do flat roofs. I'm so proud of you for trying something different. House Panther too. I love it, Sarah. But yeah, this is my House Panther Kyber. He's so sweet. It does look really good. Like, I love the windows that you chose. They're literally ones. Oh, he's going to be a cat. Okay, they're from 4 Rent. They're so pretty. Oh, are you going to lay down? You were acting like you were going to jump down, but you should lay here. Okay. <laughs> He's being indecisive. What a dork. Yeah, like we can get away with my university sims. Exactly like a spring break or something. Hi. Fiber, so glad to see you. How you doing? But I also really like your little glass roof that you put on the back of there too. That's so pretty with the big windows. It's giving like one of those really big fancy like lumber... Um, what are they called? Like cabins. I think they called them like Timber Kings or something. <gasps> Shut up. That's so cool. I love this. Like with the rounded couches. That is so pretty. I love the inside. It's so like seasons coated in the best way. Like with the big with I love that. I know I'm obsessed. This feels like a really expensive, like, like. Oh, my God, I'm obsessed with this. I love it. This is so pretty. I love the big leather couches and like the, the living room. And then there's like a little sitting area, foosball table. Oh, my God. And then that's so pretty. It's like a terrarium in there. Oh, my God. <gasps> Trying to get a new job. I love that fiber. I've been doing so good. Thank you so much. I'll be able to work from home again soon. That's amazing. I've been so good. Thank you for asking, lovey. I'm glad things are going well, though. I'm so glad to see your lovely face. Thanks for stopping by. We're doing shell tours. Oh, Matt and Matia. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Like, we love seeing other, like, everyone's builds, no matter how good or how whatever, how new, how old, whatever. Like, I love seeing people put in and, like, step out and try new things and, like, get their builds toured and stuff. It's so anxiety-inducing. But, like, we truly do have builders of, like, every single caliber here. I swear. It's amazing. <gasps> This is so cool. Oh my God, I love that. I love the little balls that you did there. I miss that from earlier. There's, I like the kitchen too, the colors that you chose. Oh my God. And like how the big barn doors are open. Yeah, it's like a big fancy cottage in Dale. It really does. It feels like somewhere really fancy that you would stay. Like, what is it called? Not like, not, not like a cottage or like something um a chateau or something like that that's what it feels like it's very cozy and homey in the best way that's so cool i like the the little bump out usage for like the book the little nooks it's giving aspen it really is i have a really good friend i've known for like almost 10 to 15 years actually is an ex-boyfriend I, I um he is an aspen native and I like, yes, <laughs> and then 
it, yeah, like a chalet. It is. It really is. I know this is this is totally like an Airbnb, but you're right. It's definitely giving like Aspen. I've never been to Aspen, but like, mm hmm. I know those round couches. This is amazing. I love the little bed, the bedrooms on those rounded areas. <gasps> the kids' rooms are like the little, oh my God, the toy boxes. That is so cool. I know it's a very good use of space. It is. Because like, what else would you do? It's so perfect. Those ones are from Dream Home Decorator, in case anyone's more, um, curious. Oh my God, the bathroom. I love like the earthy tones that you just used everywhere. It's so cute. The vanity with like the toilet. There's definitely some people staying here and I love this. I like how you made it feel lived in. Also, oh my God, how you did that with the spandos. That's so perfect. Giving old money cabin. It is. It really is Bean, isn't it? Oh my God, I love the roofing. And you said that you usually do flat roofs. Like you literally killed it with this. I love the little entryway. Can we get some hypes and hearts and chat? Thank you so much. You did such a good job. Okay. Um, that was amazing. I'm so excited. Like, it makes me so stinking happy. It was out of your comfort zone. You freaking knocked it out of the park. Stinking fantastic, though, for real. I love that. Okay. If you guys did the shell, go ahead and type tour, T-O-U-R. Yay! Sue, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome on in. If you guys are new here, by the way, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Um, I also upload to YouTube. But I also am a full time content creator, so I stream here. I usually stream on TikTok, but TikTok is like broken and won't let me right now for some reason. Like, I'm just so crazy about it. I was like, because I don't know what's going on. But yeah, make sure you guys check out my links um, in my bio as well as like my YouTube videos, because I'm also doing like exclusive gameplay series over there. Um, I made a gameplay challenge called the Jelly Bean Legacy. It's really, really fun. Um, has it really, Myrtle? Oh my God, I've been having internet issues. Like the last few days, like, I don't know what's what, but that's good to know, though. Um, Rich on the Rock. Oh, my God, that's so funny. <laughs> but uh, um, I'm also doing Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. So if you really like to get invested. Um, if you'd like to get invested in like gameplay and characters and story and like building and everything, it's so fun. Um, you can also catch all of my lap, my past Twitch videos over on YouTube as well. So if you want to like have something to binge in the background, I've got hours of content, including Breath of the Wild. Um, if you like Zelda comes out every Friday because I uh, have past Twitch streams that I did last year um, that I'm uploading now every Friday. Rick Rockchard. I love that. Lucinda 2328. Lucinda, what's your gallery ID? Let me know. Woo! I surpassed 7,500 YouTube subs. Um, very exciting. Yes, Lucinda, that's exciting. Make it a thing. I love it. All righty. Ooh. <gasps> so we have that one. Do we have, ooh, oh, this is an underwater villa. That's so cool. Are you kidding me? This looks amazing. Oh my God. It says, whisk yourself off uh, for the vacation of a lifetime to our luxurious underwater villa. Hmm. The top deck includes an outdoor barbecue kitchen, sun loungers, and a fire pit. The first floor is an open plan living area and the main entrance and two bedrooms are on an under... Um, underwater, un ground, underwater ground floor. Excuse you? So this goes on a 40 by 30. Does this one go anywhere, <coughs> anywhere specific? It 
in like uh in Solani, obviously. Like any specific lot. I saw it's a 40 by 30. Solani top left, full grass. Okay, so this one here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and evict them. Goodbye. Yes, I'm so excited. Uh, names and descriptions. I know mine is like, it has a floor. It has walls, probably, and windows. Two bedroom, one bath. <laughs> I'm like as dry as you can be. I swear in my life. <gasps> this looks so cool. I'm so excited. Ooh, you literally, I love this. That's so cool. This is so, this is such a neat take on that. And I like how you have the entrance like down below. So you literally made it into a basement, which is totally legal stuff to do, by the way. You can totally do that. You can do it. Um, That's so neat. I love how you decorated the pool down below too and like added all the windows in the basement. Oh my God. And then there's even like a little area to go here, like a deck kind of on the side. And then there's plenty of landscaping everywhere. And it was so cool. It really is. I like how there's two decks like on the left and the right. I know very inspiring, isn't it? That's so fun. Okay. So I love the windows on the edges and like how you have this big entertaining space with like a bar and like a big fire pit. Ooh, that's a fun fire pit actually I love that so you raise it up onto a platform and like the the fence that's really 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 neat okay so let's go here I know the entrance downstairs isn't it so cool all right let's go downstairs oh <gasps> that's so fun and then uh, um, there's like a little foyer. I love the decor that you chose. And there's like a little, uh, like a little linen closet. I know, follow me your favorite. I love it! Hi, Hale. Welcome back. How are you? I know I would stay here too. I know the palm trees are so cool. The lava rocks watch, right? I love this bedroom here. Immediately off the entrance, you have like a little two bed bedroom here. And then this goes all the way around and there's like a big, oh my God, like the big soaking tub in front of the water. That would be so relaxing to take baths in. Imagine that. That would be so freaking relaxing. And then there's like a little, uh, we love a poop closet, perfect. And then back here, so there's also another door with like another bedroom there. I know you want this house now, so cool. I like how we have so many tropical takes on things. Uh, I'm sick. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Um, the diamond coat closet. Uh, you just know that was difficult to build, right? I know I like that. So cool. We can just turn houses into this and the sea levels would rise, right? Exactly. Waterproofing companies would be amazing. Oh, the way that you did the, the hole. That's so cool. So like you turn this into like a like a terrarium thing. So then this is the second floor, which is actually like ground level technically. Oh my God. I know this is so cool. Hi, Air. Welcome back. Good to see you today. How are you? So then, uh, oh my God. I love the staircase that goes here. And then we've got this big kitchen. Kind of goes here. And then the door goes out on the side, on the outside. Then there's a, a bathroom there with like a stand-up shower. I love the colors that you selected too, and a big stinking living room. The living room looks amazing. Big dining room table. I like the little fish de um the little fish detail that you added for like the, the cool thing. The, I know the color swatches use. Yeah, like that's really cool. I think I want to build more houses with that cherry swatch, but I always struggle with that. I think it's so hard. So that's so neat. And then there's the, the staircase that goes out up on the top. There's like flanking both the left and the right, um, which went onto that like patio on the top that we saw earlier. So cool. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? Thank you so much for taking the time to do our lovely little shell. You are incredible. 
I really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Absolutely stunning. Like, obsessed with this. Guys, I'm almost out of pretzels, and I might go get more. Because, like, the way that I just want to eat these... They're so good. <gasps> right, Lily? Oh my god, I love that. But like, I'm in my pretzel era right now. I've been doing it, guys. All right. Hi, Sam. Welcome on in. How are you? Okay, so we have a few people that are on this wheel right here because we alternate between like any random and then tier two, tier three subs until the tier two, two, three subs are done. We're going to crank these out. Um, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to play some ads because ads are going to play in like 13 minutes. And then I want to get more pretzels because <laughs> I'm totally not addicted or anything. Um, but then we're going to draw one of these lovely, lovely friends that are on this wheel. So thank you so much for coming and hanging. Um, ads are a free way to support me. I'll be back in like a minute. Um, but we're going to chill through ads. So thank you so much. And I will catch you in just a sec. Oh my God, these pretzels are kind of becoming a problem, I think, but it's fine. All right, I'll see you guys in just a sec. I have returned. Emperor's getting pretzels now. I have influenced you to eat pretzels. I love this for you, honestly. I'm on a dip. Oh no, a sad dry pretzel day over here. That's the worst. That actually kind of breaks my heart though, Oma. Um, makes you, uh, makes you drink more water. See, maybe that's why I've been wanting so much more like liquids because I'm actually eating something salty. <laughs> Life hacks with me and we are back from ads. Thank you for hanging. All right, friends. Auntie Anne's pretzel. Oh my God. I'm a sucker for a good soft pretzel. I like making homemade soft pretzels. They're actually really easy to make. <gasps> Raya! All 
All right, Raya, what's your gallery idea? We are! Hi, Mel! Did you do a tour? Would you like your name on the wheel? Or did you do a shell? <gasps> oh my god, that's like so exciting. Okay. You did. Okay, I'll add you to the wheel right now. Welcome! Hi, Mel! <clears throat> that is so stinking exciting. I hope everyone's having such a good day! Ooh, this one looks like a really perfect, like, beachy, uh, like, almost, oh my god, it's like a, like a cute, beachy, like, one of the shingly shacky kind of things. They look so cute. I know there's a lot of beach houses. I love that. Need a nice and fairly cheap getaway? Well, looky here, you found one. This is the vacation house of, is it Arlert family, of the Arlert family. A sweet businessman and a kick butt woman husband. Um, one bedroom, though the, the gym can be turned into a second one. Two bathrooms, everything you need for the perfect vacation getaway. <gasps> the Hamptons are province town. Yeah, Sapphire Shores. Okay, perfect. That is so cool. Okay, so 50 by 50, Sapphire Shores. Here we freaking go. I'm not even mad about all the, the Solani builds. This is fantastic. I'm living for this. Oh, you should do a build. That's so cool. We're doing tours tomorrow as well. So if, you get, if you're someone who builds really quickly, even if you don't finish it by like tours, technically, you should totally just do it. Like for just for you even. Or, and one thing that we also do too, we also do random community build tours. So like if you have like a previous shell or a build that you really like or something random, you know, um, I do random tours on this channel, like at least once a month. Um, community build tours are actually next Monday on the 19th. So yes. Oh, building and running, running restaurants. That's so fun, Raga. I, I can't ever, I built a restaurant like once, but I've never ran one before. Oh my god, that's so fun. Thanks so much for the follow. Welcome on in. <gasps> this is so cool. I like the shingles that you added to the edge. They look so like perfectly like worn and like weathered, like sea weathered. But also like loved and maintained. I like the roofing that you did, Raya. And then the deck that comes out here. That's so nice. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. The little garden beds on the left and the right. Oh my god, not dead people! I know I love that roof too. That's so nice. It reminds me of the cabin I go to. Ooh, that's really nice. You're in Clearwater Beach. Come on down and I'll hand you a towel. Nice. I like it. Let's book a holiday. I'm 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 in that too. Kemba, okay, I'm in the mood. Let's go. I like the stairs um coming down from like the front of it though. That's really nice. I like the ooh, how you handle like the little living room off on the side. And then those little couches are so perfect for this area. It feels so like breezy and like Brindleton Bay in the best way. I love the, the dining room up against the big windows. The epitaph later. Oh, nice. I think I have to go into live mode, though, so probably not. This is so awesome. I love this. Oh, Ooh, wait a second. Okay. Oh, there's a cute little like fireplace here. And then like the big doors that go off on the deck on the back of the house. That is really nice though. I really like that a lot. I know the galley kitchen. Yeah, I think it's EY. Yes. Like that's such a cute like galley kitchen. I know that's really cozy. That's a great use of that space too, kind of off on the corner. That is fantastic. And then we've got a, um, like a bathroom off the side. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. And then there's even like the, the glass flooring on the bottom. And then upstairs is like a big hallway and then off on the side. I like your use of platforms on the left and the right too. There's an update too. Oh, is there? Um, Oh, are you talking about because we yesterday we ended up getting what the heck is it called? Um, vitiligo in Creatism, which was really awesome. I love the way that you utilize the platforms in here, though. That's really, really nice. I like that. 
And then over here, there's like an, uh, a gym. Ooh, I like the inclusion of like a gym. But yeah, honestly, really, really cool though um, that they included vitiligo. I was really, really happy to see that. <gasps> and then we have like a bathroom here. That is so awesome. I love how you guys, I think this is the second bathroom that we've seen kind of like wrap around this, but I really like this and how, I know this is very fresh and very nice. I like it. I love how this like wraps around though. That's so perfect. So cool. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? Forgot a door. Sometimes it happens. It's all right. Maybe they're still adding on or something. I like that idea. Thank you so stinking much for doing the shell. Get some good hypes and hearts in chat and our lovely, our lovely Raya. Thank you so stinking much for doing the shell though. I'm excited to see like what we want to do for the next one because it'll be due in March. I don't know if I want to do like a theme. Mm -hmm. You remember the door or the, the toilet. And that's more than EA can say. I will throw that shade all day. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. Literally, thank you so much for doing that. All right, friends. So if you guys did the shell, go ahead and type tour, T-O-U-R. Yeah, obviously the gallery ate the door. I, you know, I like blaming the gallery, Jen. I really do. I think that's the, the obvious explanation for it. And that's what I'm willing to, to agree with. Mm -hmm. We also have tours tomorrow, by the way. Um, and if we happen to run short on shells, um, we will end up going into like jelly bean legacy or something like that. We it's only happened like once to us before in like four years. Right, the gallery is unreliable. It can be. Hi, Gray Bun. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Y'all are so fantastic. Glad you're here. All right, next up, we have Gloomy HKR. Gloomy, what's your gallery ID? Yeah, 10 a.m. Central is that I'm going live tomorrow and then we'll have more tours, I think. No, I don't think I know we'll have more tours. But then if we run up with some tonight, then we will move on to Jelly Bean Legacy, which we have actually have not played since like the second which is actually kind of insane to think about because we did a throwback week that the, the previous week eating your outdoor bun that's so frustrating yeah, the gallery eats some things sometimes <gasps> look at how cool this is this is so nice this is the getaway shell 30 by 30 lot in Salva Dorada. Ooh, we have a Salva Dorada build. <gasps> Heck yeah. Okay, this is so stinking cute. I've never actually built or played in Salva Dorada before. I can't wait. I think in the Jelly Bean Legacy, I think we'll probably spend a lot of time in Salva Dorada with the Cappuccino generation, which is towards the end. Where is this world from? Um, outdoor, tr no, Jungle Adventure. It's really pretty. Jungle Adventure is amazing, honestly. The gameplay is pretty fun, but the build buy is really good. They have like a lot of really good wallpaper swatches and then like floor swatches that I think are really, really, really awesome. Don't be nervous, right? I know it's gonna be so good. One pack per month. Hey, that's awesome. Looks cool in the gallery. It really does. I'm hoping that my game is going to be nice to me. Oh, my God. Sometimes it takes a little bit. I'll give it just a little bit. High school years for this build challenge. Oh, that's awesome. High school years is amazing. It has some really cute things. Mm hmm. The mirror. Are you talking about like the the little neon stand up one or something with like all the kind of like the rainbowy colors? Oh, you broke my game. Sometimes this happens every once in a while. 
The gallery is so finicky. Oh, the, oh, I thought you meant the, I thought you were talking about, um, high school years. Got it. Yeah, the jungle, the jungle adventure standing mirror is really, really pretty. It, it has like rivets in it and it comes with a lot of really pretty colors. Oh yeah, shell challenges are totally possible just base game. Oh yeah, 100%. We have a lot of people that do like just base game only builds and stuff with the shell because they only have base game. Come on, Sims, you can do it. I think I'm going to restart my game. Brave and get the next one. Nice. You. Oh my God, you totally should. Base game gallery builds. Yeah, people get so creative. Yeah, base game and debug can be really good too. A lot of people are like, oh, I only have like this, but like you can honestly do so stinking much with it. It's actually fantastic. Um, and I feel like it kind of forces you to get more creative because you have so many like limited things to use. Plus, they they keep giving us some like, some really good some really good stuff and like updates and stuff. I'm really hoping that they'll do like a swatch update for Windows, though. Because they did it for doors a few years ago. Oh, yeah, debug is amazing. I agree with you. I don't know how we lived without debug or live edit before. Do you remember the days before live edit? Like... I barely do. It was like 2020 or like 2021 or something when they gave us live edit debug stuff finally. Match, yeah, match of the wood swatches. I would probably cry because there's so many times when I when I wanted to use the base game windows because they're really good looking, but the swatches are just so like dingy looking. It was quite literally the dark ages. I wish you could live here. I would so live here. You guys, I would so live here. In Salvadorada. Oh my God. I wonder if there's a mod out there that exists that makes it so you can live in these worlds. I feel like Cappuccino would live here. Is there really? <gasps> we might mess around with that. <clears throat> Oh, really? Silent Acoustic? Oh, that's good. Oh, she has it. Okay. I got you. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes, like, going on to the lot actually just, like, solves it all together. Mm. This looks so cool. Oh my God, how fun is that? Oh, like a mod list. Ah, okay, that makes sense. This is so cool. I know I love the jungle vibes. I like the, um, like these breeze, breeze windows and stuff. I'm like so into those. I love those. Those are so fun. That is so cool. I like the little garden too. Um, how you have like avocado trees. There's plantains, an apple, pomegranate emotions same and then also this yeah i know right mid-century see-through big is so dope that's what i was just thinking i was thinking like i would so use these in a mid-century build for like a little breezeway next to like a garage or something or like an entryway that's so fun i love the pool and like the the back area that's so fun the foundation and then back here oh that's so cool there's like a bar and like a grill spot I love how these ferns were used over this, though. That's really nice. Looks so empty and some of the trees were, uh, wouldn't work. So I added the weird ones. Hey, it's perfect. Appliances are also, they really are. They are. 
You, you're right, actually, Jen. The appliances in, in Jungle Adventure are really good for mid-century. And honestly, some of the build by, which is kind of weirdly surprising, you know? But it is. Ooh. All right, so you go, ooh, look at this. This is like almost like a renovated temple kind of feel. You know? And that's very nice. I like it. I like the game area. And then there's like a little living room. And then there's doors that go off into the back patio. The windows, aren't they so cool? Uh, no, we haven't made a new shell challenge yet. Hi, how are you doing, Panda, though? Good to see you. The big dining room table. I know, this is so cool. I want to live here, too. I like the blue appliances, though, especially. Those are really nice. And I like how some of you guys turn this into, like, a little pond terrarium kind of thing. This is so good. And then we're going to go upstairs. And there's, like, a landing area with, like, places to sit. <gasps> and how this is, like, a little peek in and you can, like, look through and down. Hi, Lean. Happy Valentine's Day. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good to see ya. Ooh. I love that. Big bathroom. And then there's another bathroom here. How you, like, split this into two. That's so awesome. And this is, like, one of the bigger bedrooms. Oh, my God. That's so sweet. I like the, the usage of the, like, the little flowers with this. That looks so perfect. A big bed with all the ferns. I love those ferns. Those used to have such a chokehold on me before we had, like, a lot of ivy back in the day. I know the shower and the bump out is so cool. It is so perfect, isn't it? And then this over here, we've got, like, two beds. <gasps> And then there's like the big platform on the back of that. I love the use of platforms to like take up space and like do that. This is so cool. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? Thank you so much for taking the time to do it. I also like how you uh, um, use this specific fencing and stuff here too with like the, the gates. That is a really nice touch. Oh, I like the gates and all that. That does look really, really nice. So friggin' beautiful. And it matches up really nice with the with like the landscaping and stuff too. That's so cool. Like a little entryway on the side. She looks real good, y'all. I know the roof is so different. I like that. It almost get it almost felt like a renovated like temple kind of thing. Or, like, at least was inspired by a temple in the best way. Mm hmm Okay. Woo! So now we have a wheel spin to do. So this is for our Tier 2 and Tier 3 subs. Um, is there anyone else that needs to go on the wheel before I roll? wanted it to look funky and it looked awesome you did a really good job with that especially those rounded pieces that were really weird i think that was the first shell that i had that had rounded pieces on it big accomplishment i think oh you're just finishing right now nice okay i'll probably wait until you're on the next one it didn't pick you no i haven't rolled yet um hi junior Welcome on in. How are you doing, lovey? Good to see ya. All right, here we go, guys. <gasps> Little Bear. Little Bear. What is your gallery ID? Hmm. That is so cool. So there's two mods, Zerbu. You need both worlds or residential and venue changes. Oh, that's awesome. No, good to know that those exist. <gasps> Apple with peanut butter and honey. Ooh, that sounds good. I've been like in my pretzel era. I have um, like a honey mustard pretzel dip that I found at the store. And then I have pretzels. And I have eaten a shameful amount of pretzels today. So... It's per if it's like the perfect like salty sweet. Ooh, okay. I'm so stoked for this. 
and ooh, eggs and hash brown era for brekkie. Oh God, I like hyper focus on something and then I'll eat it. And then I'll like be like, okay, I'm done. And then I won't have it for like three years. <sighs> My hyper focus knows no bounds. Let me just tell you. Did you? You made a castle? Gardettos, son of a biscuit. Oh my God, I love Monica. I freaking love, what the heck is it called? Um, The stupid rye chips. They're so good. Mmm. This is amazing. Is this in Henford on Bagley? This feels like it's in Henford on Bagley. Yeah, second lot from the top of the hill. Oh my God, I love it. Okay. Second lot from the top of the hill. So like this one right here where the Moody and McMillan people are. Time to evict you. I know the rye chips. I got so excited when they started making the rye chips as just the rye chips though. Like... So good. Bags of just, yeah, right, just the right pieces. Yup. They have those like everywhere around here. At least where I live, I don't know, like if they have them everywhere by you. They've had them for like a few years now, at least. Mm hmm. They're so worth the price. Oh my God. And they remind me of like the. They're like up there with those, the Snyder's like pieces, the pretzel pieces, the honey, mustard and onion. And then they also have like a buffalo flavor that's really good too. Like those are so good. Yeah, almost same. I usually do that or what's it called? Uh, the rye chips, the rye only Gardettos. I usually do that or what the heck is it called? Um, Gummy bears or gummy worms or something. It's sideways, but I wanted it to fit. Nice. Oh my God, it looks so cool. That's so cool. That is so awesome. I really like the little garden area. Oh, the, Melly, those ones are good too. The, the jalapeno ones. Those are fantastic. Gate equals front. Oh, that's so cool. So this is the front of the house. I love the, um, oh my God, the upstairs. Pretzel, or not pretzels, <laughs> castles, heck yeah. I like how there's like a little, ooh. It's like some people like drug some things up here to hang out. I love that. Ooh, I like the little walkway area too. How you made that into like a walkway. I know this is a castle is really, really neat. I can't wait. But yeah, I'm a huge fan of these windows in this application. That looks really nice. The house has live-in servants. Oh, it has live-in servants. Okay. I love the windows that you chose for the for this and like the big archways, of course. Oh my God, yes, please. All right, so you walk in and there's like a big thing that goes off into like the side yard here. That's so cool. And then there's, of course, like a little, um, like a dining room table. Cool fireplace area. <gasps> the castle, I know it's so cohesive. Yes, it is. The castle um, estate kit is really cool. Like, I haven't really done like a proper build with it yet, and I'm very excited. Chicago dogs, that's so disappointing. Because you can like get all the ingredients at, the, at most grocery stores for it. Mm-hmm. Right on those house wearing a ball gown, right? Oh, I like how there's little like garden areas here in those little rounded rooms. That's so cool. That is so nice. I love that. And I like the kitchen as well. And there's like a little garden area here that you used from the, um, that you can like access from the rooftop too. That's so fun. And then there's, okay, this is probably like the service quarters or something here. I know, Chloe, isn't it so cool? This is the bottom floor plan. And then upstairs. Oh my God, where is it? Um, Where's the upstairs? 
I lost it. It was me. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so the upstairs comes outside. <gasps> that's so cool. I like the, the, the flanking stairs that are outside too. See that? And then there's like this big breezeway. It goes all the way around. Ooh, that's fun. Unique little breezeway thing. And then it goes here. There's like a little bathroom. And I like how you utilize this space for like a shower. And then like the tub and it's up on a platform. Tub from the outside. I love that. That's amazing. And then I like the little nooks for the what are they called? Um, Like the suits of armor cool bedroom over here. Ooh. Got a bedroom over here. And then there's like a little sitting room too. That is so nice. I love what you did with the floor plan. I know I like it too. So freaking cool. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? I feel like this world was really, really good for uh, castles. Like, I feel like it was missing a proper castle build. Yeah, like an Academia vibe. Yeah. Wasn't it? Amazing. All right, friends. So Twitch is going to play ads in like a second here. I'm going to go ahead and let those play. But then when we're back, we're going to do some more tours. So thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit. You know what's amazing? Oh, my God. Hmm. Use the open space as an obelette. What's that? What's an obelette? Oh, like a wee blet. Oh, yeah. A wee blet. It's like O U B I L. Yeah, those are so cool. So it's basically like a torture thing. You could totally put like trellis things over the top of it to make it look like it's a grate. Oh my God. Like a giant hole. And then the, you could like see the person at the bottom of it and they would just die. Um, it's crazy. Kind of people, uh, place you put people forget about, right? <laughs> no, really, though. So it's it's making me want to do like a gameplay series. And then we have something like that because we've had like a basement dungeon thing. And some of our like decades challenge plays. Wasn't the original plan, but I really liked what I come up with, right? Oh my God. I sometimes you just have to like run with whatever plans come to mind as you're doing it, you know? 100 baby. Oh my God. Mm. But then Don Lothario won't die because like it's so sad. Because like Sims won't die on your lot if they're not in your household. And it kind of ruins the fun. Um, they won't die of like starvation or anything like that. But it puts lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again. <laughs> Is that a new change? Uh, I don't know. Because when I when I started off with the 100 baby challenge, the Sims, they'd be there for like a week and they wouldn't die. It was really unfortunate. Dots pretzels. Yes, those are really good. I do like Dots pretzels quite a bit. Um, they also have like a good, there's like a purple one. It's like a, their cinnamon sugar one I think is really good. That comes out around usually like Christmas time. Mm hmm I ended up like just offing them with MC commands under something like that. Or we would turn them into pie with my pie gun. Cause I'd like, um, like the, the, the ray gun thing from get to work. 
um, we would end up turning them into pie and then feeding it to the kids because we're definitely very normal. Because Betty, her name was Betty Crocker, so like she had to. Say so this. Let me see if I can find them online. Yes, they're so good. Um, you might not be able to find them right now because they're usually they're only around Christmas time. So you may or may not be able to find them right now. But usually I find them coming out like around November. Mm hmm. All right, we are back from ads, friends. Thank you for hanging out with me. All right. So if you have done, I know the children barn, right? I really want to revisit and like go back and like try and like try to get to 100 babies because we're like over halfway there. All right, go ahead and type two or T-O-U-R if you guys did my shell challenge. Corn dogs will do instead of Chicago dogs. Oh my God. So like, if you put your grocery list together, you can totally get everything at the grocery store too, Ashy. All you need is a beef hot dog, a poppy seed bun, sport peppers, tomatoes, pickle. No, you need relish. I think it is pickle and then it has the relish. And then uh, I think it has a pickle on it, if I remember properly. And like the relish and then celery salt and then onions and then mustard. Um, my local Wally World is the cinnamon sugar dots right now. Ooh, that's awesome. They're really good. I love them. Kama! Kama, what's your gallery ID? Pretzels, what dip though? They're like Uts, U-T-S, Uts. It's like Uts, like honey mustard dip. Um, or you can make, uh, if you get like honey mustard, that's really good. If you can't get that one exactly. Um, like honey mustard in like your dressing section even. And then there's... Another dip that I would suggest is like a good cheese dip. If you have something for like cheese, like a tortilla chip, like a cheese dip would be good. <gasps> Hi, Tony. Right, Dallas pretzels are not my favorite. Some of them are spicy. Oh, really? Really? They're like, um, yeah, there's, there's like a spicy one there, but the red bag is like their, like their regular or like their original or something, I think. Cheese, yes, yeah, so good. Definitely check it out. Yes, this is so good. Kama 789. Okay, so 789. There we are. <gasps> Shut up. So you said, where was it? Um, Cottage Living Park lot. Oh my God. This is so cool. Cheese is just the best, I agree. Um, what would be better for them than a holiday far, far away? A holiday far, far away fairy house. Um, pack your dreamiest clothes and travel to this cozy stump. There's a room for everyone. Oh my God. I'm so excited by this. That's probably, I don't know, when I tried it, my mouth burned. Oh, really? Yeah, I think, I think there's a definitely like a spicy one and then there's like a regular one that's not spicy if I remember properly. You probably got like, oh my God, the fact that you literally got burned your first time on having dots pretzels kind of breaks my heart for you. Mm-hmm. That makes total sense though. That's so crazy though. Why would they bring this spicy one? And be like, yeah, try these, you know? It's like a trap. Like a horrible trap that like ruined it forever for you. <laughs> it's like a tiny fairy house. <gasps> I love it. Oh my God, I'm such a sucker for things like this. So imagine you are a tiny little fairy and you're going. I love, I've built things like this before and it's so cute. <gasps> I like the giant tree and there's like the little stump fairy houses everywhere. That's true. Your coworkers are mean boys. Very fair. So rude of them. This is amazing. 
Oh my god. There's all sorts of like tiny little fairy things to do here. Right? I know this is so magical, isn't it? Your moms got hooked on Dots Pretzels because they had little bags at her job and they suddenly stopped bringing them. That's rude. What? Oh my god, that's so cute. I like how you did like a little, oh my god. There's even like... Chicken is so frozen. Oh, that's the worst. I'm so sorry that there's no stir fry today. <gasps> Not the fairy circle. The little arches and stuff. Oh my goodness. I like how this all blends together too. Like it feels very good. I love sizing things up for builds like this. I know I want to be a fairy now. I like how you did the flowers right along the edges there too. That's really cute. I know this is so cool. I love doing things like this. This is so cute. Ooh. And so, okay, so did you try to make the roof look like rings of a tree? Is that was that what you tried to do, I assume? It almost like am I am I getting onto that? That is so cute. I bet you. Yes. Okay. So imagine it's like the rings of a tree. That's so creative, actually. I love what you did with your roofing as well, as well as like all the windows and stuff. That is so fun. Little hangout areas. I like all the little garden boxes and then all of the trellises and stuff up there. Ever adds fairies down there. I know, right? I would I would kill for some fairies. I also like the the archway too. I always like using archways and like arches and like unconventional ways, you know? Oh my god, see walking. Oh my god, they have like the little the little leaf garland thing everywhere. The flooring on this is so cute. So it looks like a little flower bed for like an animal of sorts. Um, I don't know, but this is definitely where like some sort of a fairy would live. Oh my god. And then the realm of magic. Um what's it called? Um, the fridge and then the the stove. Oh my god. The little bouquets. I know the mismatched chairs. I'm such a sucker for some good mismatched chairs. Hi, rat baby! Welcome! Evening? I know, it's like, what is it? I don't even know. I hope you're doing well. Good to see ya. I know the inside really does feel like the inside of a tree, doesn't it? I like the library. That's so cute. I like the little aquarium in there, too. That's really nice touch. The little desk on that area, on that side. And then we have a bedroom here. Oh my god. I know, this is so cute. And then upstairs, ooh, I like the hallway. That's such a unique shape. Oh my God. Okay, so we have another bedroom here. I love those rounded door, or those rounded windows, the walls. That's I'm such a sucker for that. It was so cute. Little tiny itty bitty deck. <gasps> Continue working in your shell. I love that. I hope you're having a good day. Good to see ya. I'm really glad to be back today because I didn't have internet. I think you caught on, on, on Discord. Um, I don't have internet like Monday or Tuesday, so it's pretty crazy. Oh my God. Uh, this is fantastic. I love this. The little, um, the little bathroom. This is so cute. I love this. The, there's another little bed, um, a bedroom here. Oh, like little bunk beds and stuff. How you managed to fit like at least three bedrooms in here, four bedrooms technically, because there's one down here too. And then there's like the laundry nook. Oh, the laundry room and then off of the bed or uh, the bathroom. God, there's absolutely like magical fairies living here. This is so cute. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? You did a really good job, and I like how you um made everything look like stumps and like trees, and it just blended in really well together. That's really, really, really darling. 
I am so in love with that. I really want to, uh, to have like a fairy pack or something. Or fairies at some point. Like, I feel like we need this so bad. All righty. So we have um two more people on the on the tier two and tier three sub wheel. Um, does anyone else want to get added to it before I spin if you've completed your shell? I know a fairy pack for real. Wouldn't that be amazing, Chloe? I'm so obsessed. I love it. It makes me so happy to think about that, actually. I don't think we have anything else to add at this very second. I think tomorrow we may have some more. I know the Sims community is going to lose it, right? I wonder, like, what? It would obviously be like an all cult. I hope you could make like an evil fairy and like a good fairy. I feel like that's kind of a necessity at this point, though, you know, because I feel like most all cults, you can have like a good or like a bad kind of thing going on. So, yeah. Ready tomorrow? Nice. I'm so excited. <gasps> Mel! All right, we have Graceful Mel. Is Graceful Mel still around? Because we are going to go ahead and give you a nice little tour. How exciting. Let me know what your gallery idea is. Man, my body is ramping up for, like, my cycle right now. And God, I am so tired. <sighs> I hate having a uterus, you guys. A mystery dinner date. Ooh, I hope you have the best time, Simba. It's so good to see you. Good luck. Graceful Mel 108 or Graceful Mel. Okay. Ooh, the Cherry Blossom Resort. I know so many beautiful houses. I'm obsessed with this. So this is um, Welcome to Cherry Blossom Resort, a Japanese-inspired resort where Sims can come and relax and enjoy the beautiful scenery and ancient ruins. Come enjoy this pool, spa, and do some yoga with our trained instructors while looking over the ocean. The re this resort is a, is a peaceful place to unwind and relax. Ooh. Um, what lot does this go on? It almost looks like Windenburg. Island Bluff. Or bluff on and Windenburg, I'm assuming. Ooh, uh, like this one here. Oh, I hate how I'm being I'm able to like peg most of where like the world these are going in. Do I play this game too much as I ask because I've I have over 10,000 hours in this game. I feel like I'm totally okay, guys. Very normal. We're an ultrasound. I hope that goes really well. Speaking of which, oh my god, I almost forgot. So like, about a week ago, my freaking my doctor called me. My doctor's office called me. And they were like, yeah, we need to reschedule your appointment. So, like, I'm not getting my IUD taken on on Friday anymore. I haven't rescheduled it because ADHD is really fun. Um, and I can't do things sometimes, which is so stupid. But I need to remember to do it, like, tomorrow. Dude, right. It sucks. I can't do anything sometimes. It's the worst in the world. <gasps> okay, this is so pretty. I really would love to do more like Asian inspired things. This is so pretty. What is this spandrel? Is this from the one? Okay, that is okay from Sony's Gabe. That's so pretty. I love the style of roof that you did. I know it's so crazy. I love the way this looks. And there's like pretty yoga spots up. I like the little garden. This is lovely. I love the roofing. I'm like obsessed with this. And trying to make the at appointment but forget right like my iud god i'm having like such bad cramps or, like right now not like horrible horrible not like i've had in the past but like i'm i'm like bloated and just tired <laughs> but that's just like my period i think but i know the red trees are everything the big japanese maple trees those are so pretty like i am so obsessed with this I love the big porch that you added all the way around this. There's like, oh my God, there's even like a hot tub. 
and like a spa pool area. This is amazing. Oh my God. And then there's like, I know I need a week here. I bet you get, I bet you they probably give like the best massages here. They probably have like masseuses. Heck yeah. Oh my God, please. This is so nice. I love what you did with all of like the, the beautiful wallpapering. Um, and then all of the, the ornate, like, what's it called? Um, the details on things. It feels very like, how, what's the word that I'm thinking of, you guys? It feels really ornate and ornamental without being like overwhelming. This is so pretty. I love like the, the counter that you put on there. I feel like that suits it really well. This little hallway that goes all the way around. <gasps> I like that. So it's like the massage room and like a, a pedicure room in the middle. That's really cool. I love it. You're going in a retreat. Same. Oh my God. I wonder if they can book all of us. There's a bathroom. I like the floor plan. I feel like it's real. It feels realistic to me. How there's like, it's central, you know? That is really nice. And then it goes down here and then there's like a big, there's like a living room. Oh my God, the little tiny kitchen. That is darling. I'm obsessed with little kitchens like this, y'all. A goat yoga area, heck yes. Heck yeah, you can totally do it. Cause there's like little goat props and stuff that you can do. That is so sweet. Um, and then there's, oh my God. Oh my God, I love the little bathroom. And then there's like a big bedroom. Oh, this is the perfect bed for this area. This is so perfect. I love the rugs that you use throughout though. Those like little area rugs. Oh God, yeah. That is so cute. So there's almost, oh, okay, so there's, oh my God, I can't stop. Oh my God, I can't stop looking. Ooh. The green on the second level. Right, that maximalist wallpaper works really well. And then upstairs, where is it? Oh, here's the staircase, okay. I didn't like think for like a second. Ooh, I love that. And like this little use of this area here. That's really nice. That's so cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. And then there's a, uh, so this wraps all the way around. So there's basically like two units. So it's like a stay in spa and like a place that you can like stay at and then also get massages and like pedicures and like just go hang out in the pool. And oh my God. <gasps> The pink reminds me of the raspberry green tea cupcakes. Ooh, that actually sounds good. You just said a lot of buzzwords and I love that. <laughs> that was the idea. It's so pretty, Mel. I, you, the, I would say that you got that. You got it like 100%. I love the bathroom shape too. That's so fun. And then I really like what you did with the, oh my God, all the windows are so pretty. There's no reason to leave here. Like, why would you ever leave ever? Like, excuse you? This is so fun. I like the bedroom here that's like in the center. Aw, broke, I'm so sorry. So can the cozy vibes. I'm so sorry you had a hard day. Sending all the forehead smoochies, consensually, of course. Mm -hmm. I can never figure out how to get these to work right. Like the wallpaper. Also, I'm such a sucker for platforms. Look at this platforming. The way it just kind of like goes oh my god and then this right here oh my god oh the bathroom and then the bedroom I'm the teal and the green and like that orangey color I don't know what they were doing but apparently this city living bed is the one that is just perfect for this y'all I'm just saying and then we have like a little outside hangout spot and then there's even like a little kitchenette over here. Oh, the tiny little galley kitchen. It goes to prove that you don't need a lot of room for a kitchen. You really don't. 
You can do like a little itty bitty kitchen for things to work out. That's so perfect. So cute. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? There's so many things to look at here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing the shell. You stinking killed it with this though. Like, I love the roofing. And like the inside and the outside, all the beautiful colors and all the fun textures. I know that was so excellent. Holy crap, that's awesome. Such a beautiful spot for that too. It's out on that island, on like the bluffs and stuff. Oh yeah. That one was Cherry Blossom Resort. Um, I think that was Graceful Mel 108 on the gallery. That's what I had my clipboard. Roofing was a pain, but worth it. Yes, oh my God, for real. I can't even imagine. There's like a lot of different flowing parts everywhere. They all layered really nicely. All right, friends. Um, We're gonna go ahead and do a build tour. So. If you would like your build to be toured um, and you did our shell, go ahead and type tour, T-O-U-R. And just as a reminder, we're also doing tours tomorrow. Roofing is a pain, but worth it. Oh my God. Y'all are getting me so inspired. And if y'all are new here, I also upload to YouTube. I did another build by review today. So every Wednesday I do those. And every Tuesday and Saturday, I also have, um, what's it called? Uh, going up. Um, Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. I don't know why websites like aren't loading. I think I'm still having some internet problems. It's really weird. There's just some sites that just won't load like straight up. But anyway, um, I did the, a build by review of Horse Ranch, so I'm going in reverse chronological order. Um, if you guys are curious about my reviews and like just going through all the items, it's all in one spot. Every Wednesday, those are coming out. Um, all right, Matteo! Oh my God, Matteo, what is your gallery ID? How exciting! Help! I'm obsessed with Kui again, you guys. Yikes! Oh my god. I'm so excited. The getaway. Stop it right meow. Stop it right meow! Oh my god, that's so pretty. You are down talking yourself so much. Stop it. In the 1920s, actress Vivian Sinclair. That is a very 1920s, like high class name. Um, built this home as, as an escape from the glitz and glam of Del Sol Valley. This Art Deco home was a refuge of, uh, on the shore of San Myshuno before it became a densely packed city. All of the historic charm is regained, is retained. While the new amenities have been added for touching modern elegance with a large kitchen, a solarium, game room, a cozy book nook, and a large patio with a pool, and a house with a full kitchen and bathroom. <gasps> I know, shut up. Look at that landscaping. That's what I'm saying. You literally were like, stop it. <laughs> so you said it was in San Myshuno, right? Um, where, which lot did it go on? Does it go on one of these, I'm assuming? Description would put a dang near exact image in my mind, right? Right, Oma, it really would. That lot. Okay, I'm the old salt house. Okay. Um, I also need to go to the restroom as well. So I'm going to take a quick pause, you guys. Um, and then we're going to look at Sim Mateo's, like, thing right here. And just, oh my god, I'm so excited to see this build. I'm so excited right now. I'm going to wait for it to like load in really fast before we do this. Um, because I was having problems with it not building or pulling off of the gallery in like the map view. Trying to build Venus house. Uh, I'm just staring at all these builds, right? <laughs> the distraction is so real sometimes, isn't it? I love it. I think I might restart my game. I've been having a lot of problems with that lately. Pretty much since 4Rent came out. 
like pulling any build off of the gallery has just been like a non-existent thing um, from building from that mode specifically. Oh my God, I'm gonna pee my pants. Uh, it'll be okay. I wanna get it on the lot first and my computer's really fast. So as you guys can see, I load up the Sims very quickly. <sighs> GBG, right? As I say that, it's stuck on this screen. Oh my God, don't do this to me, game. I need to pay. <laughs> it heard me and it was like, bet. I bet you. Like, come on. I'm gonna do the pee pee dance. The rental, uh, rental residential lot made Jelly Bean Legacy correct my game. That makes me so sad. Need to find two from the pack for sure. Yeah, that is so, I know it's, it's literally mocking me now because usually it's very quick, but it knows I have to go to the bathroom. And like my brain's like, oh, we're close to going to the bathroom. You know what I mean? It's like that anticipation, like you have to go worse when you know that you're about to be able to go kind of thing. Uh, and, and the save and recover. Oh, thank God. All but an hour of gameplay. Okay, good. That would have, I was so gutted for you. How do you have such a cool, a cute loading screen? Um, it's, it's artwork that like belongs to me. So that is like artwork that uh, my artist like made for me. It's like a part of my branding and stuff, but then, um, it's a piece, piece of custom content. So you can get custom loading screens that way. Okay. So we got to go to San my shoe now. old salt house um it wouldn't let you touch the house oh that's so weird that makes me want to like back up all my saves just in case you know all right and then i'm gonna pull this off the gallery and then build it and then go to the bathroom so i'm gonna put this right here um i'm gonna run ads while i'm back so be good while i'm gone friends and i will see you guys in just a few thanks for hanging ads do support me directly by the way see like literally also it's so sneaky sometimes the game like decides to add things but all right friends i'll see you soon bye be right back
Um, excuse you. I'm back. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sorry about that, guys. My cramps started happening really bad. Um, who is responsible for this? I think it was Hyde and Melody and then Coco and then Junior. Hyde, thank you for the five gifted subs, by the way. And then Ember, okay, backing up. Thank you for the 48 months, Hyde. And then we had three months from Melody, two months from Coco, 222 bits from Junior. Hyde with the five gifted subs. Ember with a 100 biddies, 214 biddies from Rotten Lady, two months from Ma, Rue, and then Oma with a gifted sub, and then Ashy with the 100 bibbies. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. I don't know how am I getting a good, seriously, like how? All right, I'm back, you guys. Okay. I think I feel better though. I got my heating pad. Hello? What are you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much for the six gifted subs. I, um, I wrote down Jen and Hyde on my little piece of paper. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, you guys. I really, really, really do appreciate that. Oh my God. Those little alligators shaking their butts, right? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Oh my God. Sorry. I had to like go to the bathroom really bad, but we are back. Dancing in the pasture. I love that. You're just out there breaking it down. Oh my God. But thank you so much for the six gifted subs. If you guys got gifted a sub during all that madness when I was gone, or just right now, I really hope that you like your emotes. Welcome on in. I'm glad to be back though. Because I want to do some more tours today. Twerking in the field, right? Gotta break it down with the goats. Okay. But I gotta say, one of the things that I love the most about this build are like the fun garden beds. Like, I literally love those so much. They look so good. Got like the big round one and then like all those swoopy whoopy ones. This is so cute. So this is by Matteo. This is so fantastic though. I love like, oh. Are you kidding me? So this is like the backyard area and there's like a pool out the back. And then I love those platforms. They're like little raised garden bed things and they kind of like end cap this. And then I really like what you did with the, what are they called? Um, Like the floor tiles and stuff to like line everything out. I know, this is so pretty. Oh my God, I can't believe this. <gasps> Ooh, I like how you added like an outdoor kitchen area. Excuse you? I know the diving area is so cool. I love that. And then there's like little garden beds everywhere. That's so fun. And I really like this. That looks really cool. Um, So outdoor like living room spaces as well as like a big shower. And remember, this is like, a celebrity lives here, basically, kind of thing, you know? Love the kitchen, especially those yellow appliances. I love how they added more swatches to, like, the base game ones. Because we don't have, like, yellow or, like, any of those colors before. But now we do, and it all matches, and I'm here for that. That looks so good. Um, ooh, and this bar. That's so cool. So this is, like, a wooden awning that is sized up to kind of make, like, this little this little thing here. 
above the bar and the grill. It's like two bars and like a little grill area, a sink and like a hot tub. <gasps> that looks so cool, as well as like the big trellises too. Those are really, really, really nice. Oh my goodness gracious. Hello, excuse you. And then, oh my God. Oh wow, right? That's what I'm saying. So these are Art Deco like roof ornaments here that go on top of those. So you kind of made like your own little like things. So what is this? It's like a, it's like a celebrity's like second home kind of thing. You know, like away from like the hustle and bustle of like LA kind of thing. Oh my God, this is so cool. Like I really like the, the fencing and stuff on the top, especially the, um, the tree kind of just sticking out of the top. I know I would love to Airbnb here too. Same. That's so pretty. I like the staircase that goes down on how everything has like all these different levels on it. This is so pretty as well as like all of the, the windows on the sides. So we're going to go right in the front door. So 1920s, like so good. Oh my God. Bye. I'll see you later, Alma. Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a good Valentine's evening. The goats here and coming up to watch. I love that. Oh my God, the goats. That's so cute. So this is so pretty. So 1920s like actress lives here, basically. And thank you guys so much for the hype train too, by the way. I don't know what to say. I really, really appreciate you. Yeah, like old Hollywood Art Deco vibes. I love it. I'm such a huge fan. Ooh, I really like the 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 kitchen. That's really pretty with like the um the gristle glue. This is probably one of my favorite like subway tile things. I imagine it to be like tiles on the wall. Gristle glue is what it's called. So pretty. Um, I like what you did with the doors too. Those doors are a really nice touch. They look really good. Well, got a big kitchen, a giant dining room, and I like the terrarium that um has the the what's it called pa palm tree kind of sticking out of it. Ooh, are you kidding me? Look at the look at this. This is so cool with like the big um. There's like a big what's it called a thing um fireplace and how you use those with like some shelves and stuff on top of it to kind of create your own thing. Shut up. I was I was just talking like I was ranting last week. About how I wish that we had a pool table. That is so cool. That is so cool. I love it. That looks so neat. That is so cool. So these are oh my God. So you just like piecemeal stuff together. I know, right? That's so cool. So these are like little toys. And then these are um, like benches and stuff. I know that's really, really neat. So there's like, I want pool tables. I wish that we had that and get together so much because pool tables would have been such a good thing to do. Right, Lily? You can do so much without mods and custom content. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, I love the I love that gentle blue color that we're seeing everywhere, too. That's really nice. It's really calming. Then up the big staircase and we have like a, a big um, like a landing area. And then there's a cute bathroom. How cute. I know I love this. I know. Isn't it so cool? Then we have a bedroom here. I love the colors that you chose. Ooh, the pink and the uh and like the seafoam colors. Ooh, that's really nice. I like it. And then like a big ensuite, like a big tub. There's a shower as well as like a, a little bathroom for the toilet. That looks really, really, really nice. And then around here we have like a little reading area and like a lounge spot that looks really nice. And then you can like see down the terrarium too which is really cool. And then of course you have like, um, like a deck axis off here. Kind of got the up on the side as well as like another one off on the other side. So plenty of spaces to kind of just go and chill and hang out. Wow, this is so, this is very awesome. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat? Thank you so stinking much. Oh my God, and sorry for the delay as well. Like I, yeah, my uterus is being rude to me again. 
being very mean. I'm very crampy and not feeling too good. Thank you so stinking much, though. You are amazing. You know, you don't give yourself enough credit for building and everything. You know? Y'all. I freaking love it. I'm like so amazed at like the pool table was probably one of my favorite things, but the, also the way that you created like dimension in the backyard with like, I think it was, I don't think it was a platform. I think it was like, like a foundation. It looked like, I think I didn't look closely enough, but um, your gallery for real, please do support each other on the gallery. You guys, I fell asleep and I'm back now. Welcome back. I just got back after like uh, a break that I like longer than what I wanted to take because my cramps are kind of getting kind of bad again. It's that time month. You know, it's so fun to have a uterus. Um, downloading to take the pool table part right now. Oh, it's cool. It looked like tables and like a bench as well as like some little like balcony box things. I know the pool table is so cool. I went on a rant last week about how I wish that we had pool tables in The Sims 4. And then you were like, literally like, but wait. You showed it today. Oh, man. I get like so bloated and so crampy. Like I get around this time of month, around the middle to like the end-ish. Like right in here. <clears throat> Usually like right in the middle of the month happens like clockwork for me all right so I'm gonna play some ads and then we're gonna do one of the next um shells on we're gonna do ashy shell next actually so I'll catch you guys in just a little bit thank you so much for hanging thanks for your patience as well um and I'll see you guys in just a sec <gasps> you're so mine right now I feel like we're all synced up in like the worst ways though like dang it how did this happen and surgery. Oh, that's so scary. I'm so sorry, Ember. That's terrible. Thankfully, I've never had that like really bad of a cycle, like that heavy flow. But like, I just get. But then again, I have I have an IUD, and I've had one for like almost a decade. I've had two different IDs in that time period. But sorry for leaving that back. Boo! Can be the canary. I just ended mine. Gosh darn it! I've been so sleepy. It's your fault. I know, right? Um, It's not too late to join for a, a tour. How are you, Haley? Welcome on in. We're in ads right now. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. The goats are in the shell. Oh my God, right. I wonder if Ashy did do some goats in the shell. Out of the new moon. Ooh. And like the worst way. <laughs> like, dang it. It's literally like, because didn't they call it like she's, um, or like someone's on their moon or something? I don't remember exactly what it is. I E D. Oh my God. No, Phoebs. That is what Justin said as well. I was like, what do you think people with uteruses are doing with IEDs? <laughs> It's all my like right ovary it just feels like it's like cranking. It just sucks so bad. And it spends like pain at my hip and my thigh. Oh, yeah, it's really bad. Like sometimes it gets. Sometimes it gets like I'm like bedridden. Where I'm just so tired and I sleep for like 13 to 14 plus hours a day. Are we suspicious? <laughs> The left, right, mine's all like my my right side, and like my heating pad just makes me feel. It doesn't take the pain away. It just makes me feel like cozier, if that makes sense. It's it's almost like you're blanky at this point, you know. <sighs> I love my heating pad. I literally I sleep with it like every night, just because it's so like it's like my security blanket for me. My lifesaver. I'm gonna put it back here because like my ovaries kind of getting angry and like my left side or my right side's irritating. <gasps> Ooh, it's the worst. I am so excited for this. Heated rice socks helper? No, not really. 
they don't really it doesn't really I, I don't know I was talking about this like if it's going I wonder if it's like a like my IUD makes it worse because I honestly do not remember and I think I've just essentially like gaslit myself into being like yeah this is the way it is over like the last 10 years which I'm kind of like mad at myself for but it happens all right so Ashy's up for a tour or I mean wait who's it gonna be guys oh my god who is it we're back from ads by the way thank you so much for hanging out who is it I don't know who it's gonna be it's a very big mystery <gasps> oh my god Ashy isn't it god Grammy 87 I think is what you said <gasps> you made a freaking castle are you kidding me I can see the walls all the way around this bad boy I'm so excited I can't believe it oh my god yay are you ready for a castle getaway how about a stay in a renovated castle escape to a world of enchantment at bean garden castle oh, formerly known as um is it Twill Meltigig Castle? Forget all the tall tables. This newly renovated castle offers modern amenities and appliances, making it the perfect place to disconnect from reality. Don't delay and book your getaway today. <gasps> I'm so excited. Bean Garden, when you're here, your family. If we eat beans, does that make us or does that mean that we're cannabina cannabinism we're committing cannabinism I do like for some reason words wouldn't word for me but it's fine I'm good cannabinalism right <laughs> So you said Windenburg Island okay I've been having issues like pulling things directly off of the gallery so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and then I'm going to go there first. But first I'm going to evict these people because heck them. And then also we're just going to go play. And then I'm going to load it off the gallery while we're on the lot itself. Can of bean. I love it. That sounds like THC infused beans. <laughs> it really does and push them through the wrong door yes I love it oops how'd that happen right can of beans does sound like THC infused beans I'm I mean some of some of you guys might that's very true Ooh! that scared me and I thank you, Joey, for the 47 months that scared me. And I dripped some like honey mustard on my lap at the same time. And like, bloop. <laughs> thank you, Joey, for 47 months. I hope you're doing good. Welcome back. <gasps> Shut up. This is so cool how you made like the big walls and stuff. Oh, my God. I like the entryway. Oh, and you even it looks like like swords crossing or something at the top. That is so much fun. Oh my God, the pillars. I know it's so cool. I love that. God, and this is like 500,000 simoleons, I think is what Ashley said. <gasps> the way that you did the spandrels on the inside. Look at the spandrels on the chandeliers, y'all. On the inside of the walls. And there's even like places to sit inside the walls too. Oh my god. I know, isn't that so fun? 47 months is so impressive. 46 is prime. If it's even more. So I was like, wait. 40, I know 46 with prime, right? I don't know. Wait, like time is just even time is just an illusion at this point. I know the detail of this is so phenomenal. Like I love the pawns on either side. Look at the big ponds. 
And then you made, oh, there's these cool gardens. Oh, wow. These are just so fun. The windows were put in by people who renovated it. Ooh, I could see that. This is really neat. Some empty swatches. Empty swatches of what, though? Oh, yeah. Like arrow sets. Yes, I wish that we could have ones that are just like empty. I agree. That would have been amazing. Right where they're just like little thin like openings. So you could like, doop, like shoot your arrows out. That is awesome. Oh, I like the little garden gnomes you added too. There's like some garden gnomes. That, there's like some hidden in the bushes I could see. There's like some in there. And then there is also one like over on the other side. There's like this little guy. Look at the little guy. The little babies, the little gnomes. They're so sweet. Okay, I really like what you did with the with the shell itself and how you use like the fencing that they gave us and stuff. Oh my God, I love that. This is so cute. They're all in hiding. I love it. Gosh darn it. And then there's, um, oh my God, some cute little flowers that are all on the sides. Ooh. I love it. That's so, so, so stinking sweet though. I can't wait to go on the inside and see what you ended up doing here though. Like, oh my God. Okay, so, oh, on the inside, what? <gasps> I like the marble, the marble floors that you did. Oh, the lot trite for the gnomes. Oh, I love that. The other flag didn't show up. What the heck? That's rude. The, the gallery eats things sometimes, I swear. Grr, stupid gallery. But I like the royal blue color that you added in here. And then like the big tables and stuff. Plenty of places to sit. I like the bookcases butted up against each other. I know the blue is like really nice in here. I like how it complements on the stone too. And how you did like the, the stone on the outside versus the inside. Makes you want to make a princess, right? Oh my God, the big grand staircase that you did too. Oh my God. There's some stuff going on y'all. I'm just saying. We got dead bodies. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm cursed because I touch it. Best use of the flooring. Yes, right. I know. I really I think it's perfect. Like the big marble floors. The former castle's name is actually Cursed Hole in Welsh. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love that. That's actually really, really funny, though, because I touched it. And I was like, I'm cursed. See, it was meant to be. I love the big kitchen. Oh, there's like a little breakfast table, too. It's like you went right, Elena, it is the gallery deleting items is like when you lose socks in the washing machine. That is a fact. Honestly, it really is. All right, so we're going to go upstairs. Ooh, I love this. The big marble floors as well as like some of the, the nice wall patterns. Vampires is so good for stuff like that. Love the colors that you chose. And then over on this side, oh, hello. Hopefully you pay attention when you walk through doors in the middle of the night. Because you're going to go swimming. Oh my God, that's so funny though. <laughs> it's like a trap. Over here. Ooh. Nerd! Almost a kindergartner. That is so crazy. Thank you so stinking much for the 53 months. Send me a message. I'm also working on filling out stickers from December, by the way, you guys. I've been chipping away at it. Thank you so stinking much. Send me a message and I'll send you your form for your tier three Benjamin sparkly boy. Thank you so stinking much. Oh my God, I love this. This is so cute. I like the bathroom too. The way that you like use the shape is really good. Looking for the bathroom. Ah, at least you'll poop yourself going the way down though, you know. I would poop myself falling there. I would. There's probably poop down there too. If there's not, there should be. Yeah, poop down there. <gasps> oh.
They don't got poop, but they got a book. And also a bottle. I wonder what's in the bottle. Looks like a love letter. This is Ashy's build. <clears throat> I know ghosts. Oh, I love that. I love what you did with the, the bathroom here on the side. That's really nice. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I'm so excited to see like how many things you guys have like done differently with it. Like, this is just so nice. Can we get some hypes and hearts and chats for Ashy? Thank you so stinking much for doing the shell. How fun. Bye. I'll see you later, Gloomy. Thanks again. I hope to see you tomorrow. 10 a.m. Central. All right, friends. This is Summer. Welcome back. How you doing? All right, friends. So if you did the shell, go ahead and type tour. T-O-U-R. That's all that we have at this very moment for tier two and tier three shells today. Unless someone else lets me know. Game of Thrones, Moon Door. Oh my God, that's, oh, the Moon Door. Yes, for real. I could totally see it. That is so cool. A face zoomed out, right? It really does. Hi, birth class on late. Hi, Tiana. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time. Good to see you. Happy Wednesday. I'm just excited to be here today. Um doing all this stuff with you guys like doing some tours because yeah I didn't have internet like Monday or Tuesday so I'm very excited so I think okay my energy level is tanking pretty hard because of my cramps and stuff I might do I think two more tours tonight I might call it early because I want to get some good rest because I didn't sleep well again like again last night good thing my shoulder is like doing so much better though it still kind of hurts but not nearly as bad secret until tours oh my god that is so scary like i would be literally i would not be able to keep it a secret ah, Ro, what is your gallery id we'll give you a tour yeah my energy level is just like pfft. never remember to do a shell it's so hard and honestly a month happens it happens so fast it really does Oh my god your little your little high school i've liked seeing all of your guys's creations for the jelly bean legacy too that you guys have been playing that like i love seeing all of your sims i love seeing all your houses like it's literally so pretty oh my god ronan heart on the gallery i love it high school she burnt down oh my god what was that like an accident or like what lore was it like why did she end up burning it down okay a jungle getaway i love the variety of shells that we've had these have been so cool um this lush salvadorada vacation rental provides two bedrooms two bathrooms and both indoor and outdoor chef kitchens in a former archaeological site enjoy the sunny rooftop bar yoga area and ideal painting viewpoints the spacious fenced yard in, includes a pool a horseshoe pit bubble machine sunken fireplace hot tub and an outdoor kitchen with a luxury barbecue it looks so lush okay so this is going on a 30 by 20 in Salvadorada. is there a specific one that we want to do reason to build and pushes you out of comfort so i love that that is so fun oh she was bored of the, the decor you know that does sound like a very great thing to do bored of the decor so she's like ah, i'm just gonna burn it all down some quick passive arson seasons pack yes seasons is really good zach so um i think that those those are the packs i always recommend people to have if you are confused on what to get and the reason why i always recommend those packs in whatever order you want to do them whatever one interests you the most is because i feel like it has really good creative it has really good build by and the gameplay is is it, it like fleshes out your gameplay and like makes it more real, if that makes sense. So like growing together adds like milestones and the ability to teach your infants how to walk. 
also has good build by and, and, and everything seasons adds like seasons and like things to do with that and like there's changing and it's it's awesome cottage living gives you like a few animals to have like a cow you can have chickens and all that stuff um City living gives you apartment living and it's really fun and it's different. Parenthood allows you to parent your kids better. Tiny living allows you to have like mm, tiny home traits and you get like perks by having a tiny home if it's a specific lot trait within like the certain square footage parameters basically, which is really awesome. And then laundry day adds laundry to your game, which is a lot of fun. But the build buy and the create a sim and all those are super good. So it just makes it more lifelike um insurance money to get better decor i you know that that really does feel like it yes they're, they're so good they're such good packs and that's why i recommend the ones that i recommend to everyone because i feel like after that point it's about how you want to like what aspects you want to expand on or like do you want occults do you want like what build style are you interested in what world are you interested in yeah you, you do yes because all of those are going to add like more realism and like I almost said girth, like meat and potatoes to your game. <laughs> I always, and I'm, this is coming from someone I have every single pack. Like those are the ones that I recommend everyone should have. And those are the reasons why. Amazing item. It does. It's so good. Um, okay. So this one goes on a 30 by 30. I'm going to go ahead and go on the lot first before I place it. Cause I've been having like weird issues with the gallery. We love a good girthy game. We love a girthy game. <laughs> laundry day is actually really fun. And if you are someone who can mod your game with laundry day, um, what's it called? Um, I think I have it in there. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Little Miss Sam has a better laundry like mod fix where it makes laundry less annoying it makes it so it accumulates slower it's really good yeah, the better laundry mod is so good it makes it less annoying girth right you guys oh my god <gasps> the way that this is so adorable like excuse you <gasps> bro this is so pretty yeah I like the little, um, the little, like, what's it called? A fountain off on the side. The decor items on the back, right. No, that, that's totally valid. Even if you don't like putting laundry in the game, like, it's still super good for that. This is so cool. I like your decks and stuff that you added. This is so pretty. I know, like, right in the pool in the back. Hello? Oh, my God, this is so nice. I love it. I know the red door. I know the red door is really, it's a nice little pop of color. Oh, it's not yours. Is it really? Where did that come from? <gasps> That's a cute build though. your build rose like um what nice build ea that's not the worst i've seen okay now this oh my god oh my god what the i know the rooftop okay here we go <clears throat> anyway <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> Diagonal trash can. I've been like, ah, uh, right? Amazing. I know. I love that off the... Wow. Okay, the way that you did like the different like tiling here. Okay, this is so cool. I love the, the wallpaper and stuff that you did. I know this is so cute. And then this over here. Oh my God, you've got like a little hangout area out here. And I like how you mix new with old. That is so pretty. Where's that wallpaper from? Jungle Adventure. Jungle Adventure is really, really, really good. Um, it's so pretty. And same with the floor tiles. Those are Jungle Adventure. Same with this. 
a lot of these items that you're seeing are going to be jungle adventure actually oh my god i know the tiles so good it, yeah the tiles because you can utilize these even in like regular houses you know what i mean like they're just so usable like some of the swatches are just so good i actually use this a lot in like bathrooms they're so pretty look at all those items plant lover for sure right like i i feel like uh jungle adventure is probably one of the packs that i use a lot when i'm building <sighs> And I don't really build jungle temples, if that gives you some sort of an idea. Oh, my God. <gasps> this cute little outdoor kitchen. Oh, my God. The tile in the patio in your apple house. It's perfect. It's so usable. Ooh, the little bump down. <gasps> and the way that you made, like, the, the custom seating here on both of the edges, as well as this, like, the adobe fireplace. I know, yeah, I, I would say that these are probably like one of my favorite tiles, aside from the ones that came with For Rent, because For Rent has some really good tiles. I like how you did like the, the vine curtains over the archway too. That's really cute. Ooh, excuse you? This is really pretty. It's like the bubble blower thingy. And then going up to the rooftop area, I like the palm tree that's kind of just like sticking up up here. And then there's even like some yoga areas, painting and like all sorts of like skill building stuff everywhere. Those are really great spots to like paint. How inspiring would that be to like stand outside on there? Oh my God, I love this. And then this over here, it's like a little patio that goes all the way around. I like how everything feels so cohesive together that looks really good we're gonna go in the front door Ooh. i know what are the skeletons guarding right what the heck this is really cool i like the the living room it really does feel like a temple that they like renovated oh the plants that's true from overwatering. that's very true Oh, I know this is so nice. I really like the big open like dining room and like the kitchen area and like the pops of the red and the blue are just so nice together. It's modernized, but like it feel like it feels like everything fits. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I like the little rocking chair area and then we've got like a big ba a bathroom and that was the mirror that we were talking about earlier by the way it clips to the wall but it's like a leaning mirror and it has a lot of really usable swatches on it so you can use this in so many different applications if you want to like it's so pretty the trunks I know for the tv stand I know isn't that so perfect I think that came with like basement treasures kit oh no it came with werewolves just kidding but it's so perfect mirror it, it really is this mirror it had a chokehold on me for like ever that is so cool i love the i love this little like greenhouse area too that like how you made this into that that's really really cute that's so cute um we're gonna go upstairs and the staircase is outside and then this goes into like a big patio area Oh my god i know the drains it's so perfect it just makes sense you know and then we have oh my god how sweet is that there's a little katatsu table oh my god my heart your guys's details in these like you guys put everything into these and it makes me so happy to see like this is so cool i love this too like the the bedroom oh my gosh Oh, the bedroom. I love the orange and the blue together. I'm such a sucker. The palm tree. It is. The palm tree is inside the terrarium. It's kind of hard to see sometimes because like it, trees disappear like when you zoom in and everything. But yeah, the palm trees in the terrarium. That's really cool. Oh, and I like the rounded, like all the plants in here too. There's like a little crafting area. And then of course we go upstairs to like more craft areas and like more leisurely points so cute as well as like some what are they called i think these are like generators oh so they're water heaters yep 
I feel like it fits the the space so well. Um, shells are so fun. I love seeing how creative everyone is. I'm building on the same lot. My build looks entirely different. Yes, isn't it so cool? Like that's what I love the most about shells. Thank you so much for the um, um for the for doing the build. Go ahead and uh do some hypes and hearts and chat for Row. Thank you so much for doing that. Also, I'm sorry. I'm like so tired. Sorry for like halfway beginning to tour EA's build I was like oh because I could see some elements that were like really similar to our build in it and especially if you like turned some of those rounded walls into like the decks on the EA build that was so funny I'm very sleepy all right I think I have one more tour left in me tonight I've been live for like five hours. I did go live a little bit early today, though, so that's kind of my fault. But like, I do think that I have one more tour left in me tonight. And then we're going to do tours for my normal time tomorrow. So, um, go ahead and type tour in chat. T-O-U-R and the bot will randomly pick one of you guys. You've got a build. That's so exciting, Kaylee. I love it. Tell my parents about getting a castle tour and now everyone else has been so great. That's so fun. I love that. Were they like, uh-huh, uh-huh, oh. Because <laughs> I feel like whenever I like rant and rave about Sims things to some people, they're just like, what, uh-huh. Because <laughs> I don't know. Thank you so much for continuing your gifted sub, Sunwolf. That's so nice, right? They're like listening, but they're not like no one's uh, no one's home. <laughs> That's a very relatable experience, I feel. That's so funny. Thank you so much, Sunwolf, for continuing your gifted sub. That's so nice. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for letting me be your streamer. I'm a lucky gal. <clears throat> Renly! Renly, what's your gallery ID? I think this is going to be the last one for the evening, and then we'll uh, 10 a.m. Central tomorrow kick off the day with some more tours. Hi, Cassie! Happy Valentine's Day. I love that. Welcome on in. I love you so much. How you doing, lovely? Good to see you. Which one and he knew which one I was talking about? Nice. Your dad's, your dad's, in, your dad's a closet simmer. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm addicted to pretzels, Cassie. It's not good. I've had a shameful amount of pretzels today. You are literally already so smart, but like, I don't know how you could possibly get smarter. Renly. Um, there we go. Yay, Renly. I know that makes me so exciting or excited. Renly with two L's. So just like your Twitch name. All right, what do we have? Pretzels are delightful. I like to plunge them into some frosting because I'm an adult. Heck yes. <gasps> so I can't remember who was asking for some like pretzel dip suggestions. Frosting and chocolate are actually very good ones. If you have melted chocolate, just joop. I know, literally. Did you see in mini business I put? Yeah, you, you did see it. I feel like she'd have a deep butt. Yogurt, ooh, yes. Yogurt's a good one. This is so darling. I can't. I can't handle this cuteness. You guys need to stop. I'm, I'm getting cute aggression from all of your guys' builds. A vacation rental for Henford on Bagley. Relax and enjoy the countryside. You can get married here. Paint, play games, read and relax. Go on a picnic or spend time with friends around the campfire. I know, isn't it so cool? I love it. 30 by 20. Does this go? Uh, obviously, this goes in Hunford on Bagley. Like, it's gotta. Um, does it go here? Or where where would you like me to put it? A legit lolled right. I know a French country home. I'm obsessed. Did you guys see my my TikTok? I'm trying to figure it out. Hi, Charlotte. Welcome on in. How are you? We're doing shell tours. Um, 
I know the same walls. I know. Isn't it so crazy, Matteo? I love that. Um, did, did Renly tell me where it was? I just want to make sure I didn't miss it. Oh, uh, replace the current rental. Okay. So like this guy right here. All right. I'm going to go on the lot because I've been having issues pulling like off of the gallery. But okay, guys, I posted a, my internet's still being weird. I'm, I guess there's still internet issues happening, but not as bad, but there's still some weird things that are going on. But let me show you guys really fast what TikTok I'm talking about. I get a lot of questions about floor plans in The Sims 4. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I just do a lot of Googling and I found something that works for me. This website is called houseplans.net. I'll put it on the screen for you. And there's like a bunch of different like house styles and stuff that are just kind of like listed through this website. If you're really confused and you you kind of have this like idea in your head, but you don't know what that specific home is called, this one goes through like a lot of the the really common ones, at least like in the United States. You can click on any single one of these houses and then there's they're like kind of subcategories and then it gives you a floor plan. So historically speaking, depending on like what time period a specific home that was popularized is going to determine what the floor plan is going to look like it's also to be noted when you're working with floor plans from like actual real life that they're not going to translate exactly to the sims 4 but it can kind of give you like an idea i like how this one's just called florida right uh, if it you does. scroll all the way down in each of these little subcategories they give like a little faq so there's like a little description and like what makes that specific floor plan what makes a house a farmhouse etc comment below which one's your favorite make sure to like and follow for more sim stuff bye i post a lot of stuff like that on my tiktok as well as like YouTube and stuff like that. So by the way, yeah, um, I genuinely feel like that's one of the things that feels illegal to know, but like it's all in one spot, especially if you don't know like what a specific style of house is referred to or is called. It's gonna, it's probably gonna be on there because they have a lot of like variety of types and stuff. Um, each quarter square is one square foot. Ah, okay, okay. I like it. You still, you know, it's so good. I'm so bad at that, all of that, right? It's so good. Like, literally use it. Not sponsored. It's just a really helpful tool to, like, have. Pinterest, yeah. Like, especially if you're, you're looking for something really specific, you know? Realer today. Hi, JG. Welcome back. How you doing today? I think this is going to be the last tour of the evening because I'm feeling really tired because my cycle is really kicking my butt. But I'm, oh, my God. We're definitely going down with like some real great builds today. Like this is so cool. Out of fraction and roundup are down depending on the flow of the house. Ooh, that's great. No, that's a good way to do it though. Nerd, I love that. <laughs> this is so stinking pretty. I love the feel of everything. Like the way, oh my God, the way you did like the roofing. I know I love this little cottage. It's so cute. The double chimneys on both sides. I know, isn't it, Tiana? Oh my God. I like how you handled the sunroof area too. It really, it does have perfect vibes, doesn't it? Oh my God, the little arch. I need to use more like garden arches like that. I know, I bet this house smells like books in like the proper way. I can smell old books, like old paperback books. Heck yeah. Something that you just never forget. Belle from Beauty and the Beast would uh, use this as her vacation home, right? This is so cute. I like the entryway as well as like this little wraparound. Oh my God. Oh, this is so cute. The little breakfast table. Oh my God, in the window. That's so cute. Um, I like the galley kitchen, how it is. You can just like walk right through. I love that. And I also like how you put like the little crock pot in the window. <laughs> Nothing like the smell of a good book, right? I know. I don't even read often, but I can like smell the books. I spend so much time in my adolescence like smelling books. <laughs> in closed rooms, I don't feel me cozy and infinite and intimate. I love that too. I wonder if they could make like a, a book scented air freshener thing for your Kindles. It's like a scratch and sniff sticker. Someone write that down, write that down, write that down. <laughs> like a scratch and stiff sniff sticker because they have like a new car scent technically which is technically just formaldehyde but you know like 
old books. Scratch and sniff. I'm so... Book scented candles. Oh, I was going to say, I bet you someone has figured this out. That's great. This is amazing. I love the color schemes and like all the... Oh my God, it's so cozy. This TV from the freaking Basement Treasures Kit is so cute. I, I love it. One thing that you can also do too, if you are looking for something a little bit bigger, by the way, you can size it up and then put it on the floor. Because if you were like me when I was really little, my parents had a cabinet TV that went on the floor. I love that. I use that all the time. Or I... I, no, I don't use it all the time. I think about using it all the time for like old houses. And Amazon, uh, they are named after famous, uh, different, after different famous authors. I've got Al Edgar Allan Poe going uh, right beside you right now. I love that. That's so fantastic, though. That's a necessary purchase. I agree. And the, the wreath on the door, right? Just the vibes of this house are immaculate. I am in love with everything. And the little ladder that goes upstairs. So I wonder, I want to go up the staircase here. <gasps> what a darling floor plan. And this is like a, a little game room. This is amazing. I really like the little game room. Full of the ladder there. <gasps> this is so precious. This bedroom. All these gentle sage colors are just so cute. This floor plan. I love that. So then there's like a, oh my God, this beautiful pink room. And then it goes off and there's like a little ensuite. I know it's such a good use of space. I love closed floor plans like so much. I'm such a sucker for it because they're just so like old school and so calming. Oh, I love that. I really like what you did with this too. Like the color schemes. This is so cute. So, <clears throat> is this cottage living in base game only? This might be really close to cottage living in base game only. Now that I'm looking at it, actually. This is so darling. I love it. I'm like obsessed with that. Oh, no, there's a bunch of stuff in there. OK, just kidding. I thought it was I was like, there's so much stuff in there. You feel like you would sleep so good in that, right? I love it. I would probably sleep so well in there. Like the sheets would probably just be so clean and like, I don't know, just be amazing. Can we get some hypes and hearts in chat, please? Thank you so much. That brick whisper on the wall that I spy. Wait, brick whisper? What do you mean? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I appreciate that. Uh, that's right. There's like nifty knitting and all sorts of stuff in here that's so freaking awesome y'all i know it does feel very safe and cozy all right guys i think my cramps have really started this evening and i think i'm going to call it a little bit early tonight i have been live for like five hours but usually i stream to like 9 p.m central on wednesdays like I started a little earlier, but I think that I'm going to call it for the evening and then um, I'll be back at 10 a.m. Central. I just want to try to get a little bit. I'm just having some cramps and stuff. And I'm just like, it just like took me out. Um, But yeah, 10 a.m. Central tomorrow. We'll wake up and have coffee together and then we're going to do more shell tours. And if we run out of shell tours, actually, we are building a new shell tomorrow. We're going to do that. Maybe I'll start off with that tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. Um, but we're building a new shelf for sure tomorrow, 100%. Um, you can guarantee that. But then if we run out of shells to do tomorrow, then we will play Jelly Bean Legacy. And then Jelly Bean Legacy is happening on Friday. So thank you guys so much for coming by. I really appreciate you. You guys are literally amazing. I love you with my whole butt. I know, Jelly Bean. I know we haven't played since the second because of Throwback Week and stuff. And then we were supposed to play Monday and Tuesday, but I had internet problems. So I guess my internet's a hater. Let me just say that out loud because yeah, 
It didn't want us to play Jelly Bean like us, you guys. It was so terrible. But there's my schedule in chat. Make sure to jump into Discord if you want stream notifications. I also upload to YouTube. I, I couldn't upload to YouTube on Tuesday because of my internet problems and stuff like that that I've been having. But every Tuesday and Saturday, I have Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. You can catch all my old Twitch VODs over on YouTube, as well as Build by Reviews every single Wednesday. Friday, I'm uploading some Zelda content. So if you like The Legend of Zelda, I've got all my gameplay videos coming out um, from Breath of the Wild, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for supporting over there. I am over 7,000 subs now because I grew over 2,000 in like nine days. So it was crazy. So I just wanted to say thank you for everything. You guys are amazing. But I can't wait to see you um, tomorrow. We're going to go raid my friend Emrys. And I wanted to wish you guys like a very happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Thank you for spending it with me. I know, isn't it so fun? It really is. But make sure to copy and paste the Beanie Weenies incoming. Otherwise, the hand hearts will do. Just make sure to tell Emrys that I sent you. Um, Emrys is currently working on a flower shop and restaurant build. I love you. Connie, thank you for the five months. That's so fun. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, lovey. Oh my god, I can't wait to hang out with you guys tomorrow. I love you. Thank you, Kenny. Almost half a year. Don't blink, because here we are. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to go rest and drink some more fluids, because my uterus is being mean. All right, I love you. As I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially with you in it, and I can't wait to spend it with you. And here's a boop for the road. I love you. Bye! See you soon!